are in a geography class. So we are starting a topic on population in Zambia. So what is population? Population is the number of people living in a country or an area. So what is this Zambian population composed of? So mainly we have Africans, we have Europeans, we have Asians, and we have Kurds. So now, how do they count the people in a country or in an area? So they do what we call census. So census is the official counting or numeration of people in a country. And census in Zambia is done every after 10 years. Now, census, when you when people go to count uh, the people who are found in an area, it shows the number of people in an area uh, when these people were born, uh, death rate, for example, if they come to a family, they will ask how many are you, how many died in your family, so that's what death rate is. Age distribution, um, maybe those who are below five years old, how many are they, the youths, and those who are above 40, how many are they? That's what it means. Then educational distribution. How many have been in school or how many are educated in your family? Then also sex ratio, whether they are males or females in that family. And also uh, the nationality. As you know, there are times when you find uh, people from another country have come to stay in Zambia. So that's why they will need to ask which country do you come from? Or if you are a Zambian, you tell them that you are Zambian. And the sign to show that someone is a Zambian, you need to have a green national registration card. Okay, now let's look at the reasons why we carry out census. So one of the reasons is to know the number of people living in an area. Now, when you know the number of people living in an area, then you will be able to provide proper social services, such as schools, hospitals. So when you know that in the country there are 15 million people, then you'll be able to know um, how many hospitals are needed to be built, or rather how many clinics are needed to be constructed. Very good. Also to know the number of people without jobs, so as to create jobs. So as the population keeps on increasing, there will be some people without employment. So when the government knows that um, so many number of people unemployed, they will be able to find ways of providing employment. For example, such as by coming up with new industries or constructing new industries so that more jobs can be provided to the citizens. Very good. Also, it is quite important to know how fast the population is increasing for future planning. So if the increase rate more, then the government can kind of relax for the future. But all the same, whether the increase is small or very high, they need to plan for the future. What do I mean? For example, there are some hospitals where you find only one doctor. This doctor is at more than 200 people. Or even clinics, you find that one clinical officer is attending 300 people, which is uh, a very sad situation because that person cannot be effective. So that's why it is quite important for the government to know whether the population of Zambia is growing at a fast rate or it is not growing. Very good. Uh, if the population is increasing or decreasing, okay, so that one was repeated. In order to supply enough agricultural materials to those who need them. Okay, now let's look at uh, reasons for Zambia's high population growth. Early marriages. Most girls, especially in rural areas, get married or are impregnated before they reach marriage age. So some of the children, especially girls, are married off at the tender age, like when they are 12, 13, and when they are married off or they have been impregnated, they will be able to add to the number of people in a country. So marrying off a child at a tender age, we should not allow, we shouldn't do. Okay, we proceed. Poverty, most Zambians live below the international poverty line per day. 
this is where they fail even to have three decent meals in a day. So, some women prefer to get married in order to run away from poverty. So, most of the poor women have more children than those who are educated. So, this is a problem. How do I, or how can someone uh, prefer to get married in order to run away from the poverty which is at our home? But this is more like adding poverty to another poverty. It doesn't solve a problem actually by running away from poverty you are going to another poverty. The best way is to find what you can do. Maybe you go back to school or uh, you, you start doing some business. That's how we can solve poverty. Not running away from poverty and getting married. Okay, another reason that has led to the high population of Zambia is improved medical care. Most children are surviving due to more access to health centers or health care. So, long time ago, children would die um, because there is no, no medicine in the clinics or in the hospitals or because the vaccines are not enough. But nowadays, because of improved health facilities, our government has put up many clinics and hospitals uh, in many parts of our country. And this has helped to increase um, the health of people, not just children. We can take, for example, adults, like nowadays with the coming in of ARVs, people's lives have been saved. Long time ago, in 1980s, when they used to call it SIDA, people used to die because there was no um, medicine to boost the immune system. But like nowadays, we have ARVs, and these ARVs are helping a lot of people, and we are surviving. Very good. Inadequate education on family planning. Most couples lack information on child spacing or natural death controls or the use of contraceptives. So people do not have information, especially in rural areas. They lack information on child spacing. And that's why you find that in rural areas, eh, Charlie Diva, families, you find in one family there are eight children, there are ten children. But if you come to uh, cities like uh, Lusaka or Ndola, you find that people have got maybe two children. A couple has got only three. A couple has got only four. So if people uh, have enough information on family planning, <coughs> such as on child spacing or the use of uh, natural birth control methods, this will help to reduce the population increase. Okay, let's look at uh, the advantages of high population. So there is enough labor to produce goods and to provide services. When there are a lot of people in a country, you have enough people to till the land. And then you are going to have enough food. And also you have a lot of people or enough people to work in industries or to provide services such as in banks, uh, in insurance companies. Very good. Also, there will be availability of ready market for goods and services. So there will be enough people to buy the goods that you have produced to also get the services or to buy the services that you are providing. For example, when you provide services such as education, education for no doubt, every day or rather every moment there are people learning. Like nowadays, because of uh, this COVID-19 uh, pandemic, people are learning through um, YouTube, through WhatsApp, which has brought actually much development in the education sector. Very good, we proceed. Uh, there will be expansion of social services like hospitals and schools. The government will know that there are many uh, people that are in the country. That is when they carry out the census. So they will need to provide the services for these people. They cannot just say, okay, the population of Zambia has improved. Ah, we just relax. But they will need to provide the services for these people or for their citizens. So that's how it goes. Then also communication systems will improve, such as roads will be repaired and new roads have been constructed. And then new airports will be built or the old ones will be uh, repaired then the rail line is also improved. 
For example, we have seen the construction of uh, the bridge on Zambezi River in the western province of Zambia and the construction of that road. So that road is going to bring more development to the western part of Zambia. And also at our Kaunda International Airport, they have extended the airport, or rather they are constructing the new airport on the very old side of the um, Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, which means more planes will be coming to land on our international airport, and this will bring a lot of cash or a lot of foreign exchange to our country. And in that way, that money can be used to develop our nation. Very good. Now, let's move on to the disadvantages of a high population. So we say that um, there will be enough labor to produce goods on the advantages. But one of the disadvantages that will come as a result of high population is that the jobs will not be enough for the people. The government cannot manage to provide employment for everyone because the population is increasing at a fast rate. Okay. Then there is going to be pollution on the environment. That is land, air, and water pollution. So when the land or the air or the water is met and safe for use, that is very dangerous. This is what causes maybe people to have respiratory uh, diseases because the air has been made and fit for use. Or when the water is contaminated, we hear people have got cholera, like for example in 2019 there were so many people who were sick of cholera and as a result uh, schools were delayed to open so everything was affected so when the population increases there's too much pollution you see garbage everywhere especially when you are moving in big cities and you wonder where is the cancer the population is increasing at a fast rate for example in an area where there's only one school and the population is increasing like just for the past five years, you find that the population has grown. It's not possible for the government to provide proper uh, services such as education. So it is a very big disadvantage when the population is growing, the country to improve. It doesn't improve. You are bringing the country down. Then decent accommodation will not be enough. This will cause people to make shanty compounds or to make houses in an unplanned uh, settlement that's why you find that maybe there are some houses that are even near this compost i mean that's so dangerous and you find people constructing houses on uh, the land which the government has not allowed anyone to construct a house okay we go to solutions to high population growth so one of the most important solutions is to provide more school places to girls in order to prevent any marriages. Like we said earlier on, some girls are forced into marriage because they come from poor families. Some of them, they just want to get married at a gender age. But we are saying that we need to prevent this by creating more space to, in schools so that girls can uh, attend schools to avoid them getting married. If possible, like what we are seeing nowadays, some chiefs, Actually, they are removing the children who are very young, who have gotten married, or who have been forced into marriage, and you remove them from marriage, take them back to school, which is a very good thing. Actually, that's what we should promote, because every child deserves a good life and even dignity. Okay, we proceed. Also, by creating more jobs to women, to reduce childbearing. So when you provide uh, employment to women, they will uh, tell themselves or they, rather they will be thinking at the back of their minds that I need to take care of my family so I should not openly fall pregnant. So this actually is promoting gender equity. Very good. We move on. Educating the Zambian citizens on birth control methods. So people should be educated. We said earlier on what has led to the population of Zambia to increase at a fast rate is that many people don't have the information on how to control their, their beds or how to do child spacing. So if this information is provided to the citizens of Zambia, like for example in rural areas, clinics should educate the uh, people in rural areas uh, on the disadvantages of 
having so many children. It's not just actually the increase of population, it can also cause death to mothers. Giving birth oftentimes can lead to complications. And also by making out flyers, speaking on radios, presenting on television, this will help many people to learn the importance of birth control methods. And some people actually, they are, they are aware, they have heard about birth control methods, but they feel shy. So when many people are talking about it, for example, teachers talking about it among their fellow teachers, this can help some.